Uh, now, there's also a European uh, lightweight title fight uh, this weekend taking place out in Paris involving another Welsh and one of the guys we showed at the start there, Gavin Rees. Now, you've got to love Gavin Rees because he's been a pro about 14 years. He's been there, he's been there, he was carrying some weight but still won. He managed to go up to, to light welterweight and win a proper title from a really good Frenchman called Suleiman Mbai. He lost it soon after that and he's been there or thereabouts. He seems to have been around forever. I think he's still only 31. Anyway, yeah, he was offered earlier this year a fight with Ricky Burns but his people, uh, Gavin, and his people turned down, said there wasn't enough money. Pity, because that would have been a really good fight, and it may still be a good fight down the line. He's going out to Paris this weekend to fight uh, the, the Frenchman Anthony Mazzati, or Mazaki. You I mean, I'm probably wrong. And I managed to speak to Gavin earlier, just shortly, because obviously he's a bit busy the last couple of days. And I started by asking him if he'd seen much of his French opponent. Yeah, something like Anthony Mazzati. I think I've seen a few clips of him on fighting, um, what's the fight against John Faxon? He beat John Faxon comfortably. I think that was um, not the best of John Faxon, to be honest, on his way out. So, but it's a job I'm 100% capable of doing. I'm confident of doing. Yeah. Now, now the thing, is, the thing is with this fight, it's, it's kind of, it's the one before potentially big fights because there are some big fights, some big domestic fights uh, for you later this year, aren't there? I mean, there's obviously there's the Ricky Burns situation. John Murray's still floating around. Um, Anthony Crawler's floating around. Kevin Mitchell's floating around. You must fancy getting involved with that little group, Gavin. Yeah, that's the thing. I've been training hard for this fight. I want to get this fight out of the way. Now, I want to box one of them boys you just mentioned. Yeah. You know, I don't think I get fully recognised for my achievements, what I've done. So, hopefully beating one of them boys will put me up there. Yeah, it's, just, it's, just tricky. it's interesting you should say that, because it's been a long time now, isn't it? You turned pro in 1998, that just seems so long ago, and you're still only 31, and you're absolutely right, you do, you do need uh, a lot more recognition, and, and you deserve a lot more recognition, and it would be great to be involved with that series of fighters. Would you fancy a straight go at Ricky Burns, or do you think there's other fights out there that would help build that fight? Yeah, well, of course, I'd like to have that fight. Or maybe I could win a world title against somebody else and we could have a massive unit creation fight, me and Ricky. But, yeah, it'd be a great fight, me and many of the boys. You know, we've got a great group of lightweights in Britain at the moment, probably the strongest for a few good years, and me or whoever, any, any of them boys, would be great fights, I should think. Yeah, I, I think it's one of the strongest uh, groups ever, to be honest with you. There's always been a yeah, good one or two good ones. I mean, even in the 70s, there was Jim Watt... And then there was Ken Buchanan, but that you know that, they were sort of there, and then the rest of them were, were following. So I think this is a really strong, really strong. Group. You've had a, you've had a you've had a long old career in lots of ways, Gavin, haven't you? It's been up, it's been down, it's been up, it's been down. You must you must chuckle when you look back on it. Yeah, it's a long time. You know, I've been professional after this year, fourteen years, but oh. everything I've ever tried to win, I've won. So I've, I know I've lost one fight, the world title. So I've done really well, and then I still think I'm improving all the time. No, listen, I still think you're improving all the time. It's one of those things, and it's funny, you know, because um, Enzo, Enzo Kawasaki always used to say, even when you were 22, 23, 24, he said, listen, he's going he's gonna to be a good fighter later. He's going to be a good fighter later. And he was right. How, how, how long do you think you could fo box for, Gavin? Well, I don't know. I'm 32 now, I'm feeling fresh. I don't know. Maybe it's hard to say, you know. I'm feeling so good. I would say I've gone forever. But um, <laughs> realistically, probably three years, I haven't got... Right now, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I feel so good. Oh, and, and, uh, oh, and finally, uh, 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 Gavin, and thanks very much for your time. Uh, is it, no problem. Have you got a sort of new lease of life, Do you know, training with Gary Lockett? Of course, he's such a young whippersnapper himself. Yeah, it's just um, it a new thing for me, you know, since I've been a guy, I've got a great nutritionist on board, and everything's done different. I've got a structure of my training, spa and everything. It's just a new lease of life, and I'm enjoying boxing more than ever, to be honest. Listen, that's great. Listen, good luck over there in Paris, and hopefully we'll see you in, in, in some big fights in this country against some of the other British fighters in the next yeah, three or definitely. four months. OK, thank you, Steve. As uh, G Gavin Reese talking to me earlier, he fights on Friday over in Paris. Now, what